I'm your barista, Brett Kemp, and today I'm going to whip you up a truly one-of-a-kind and delicious motivational macchiato. What if I told you the secret to motivation and inspiration actually comes from a deep place within you that wants to connect with others and be a contribution in the world? And that when you attach a reason to why you are doing something and you do something bigger than yourself, that there will be no limits to what you can create and the impact you can make. But don't take my word for it. Instead, let me read you a quote from a very brilliant man that we all know and love, Mr. Martin Luther King Jr. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Not bad company to be in if you ask me. Now let me ask you a question. Do you think Martin Luther King got up most days and found it hard to find his motivation and inspiration? Finding the drive to go out and grab a hold of his dreams for equality? But let me ask you this. Do you think there were times where he didn't want to go out and fight the big, unbelievably scary and ugly monster of racism and segregation? Absolutely. And although he was clearly a visionary since his birth, he was also a human being and absolutely had days where he didn't even want to get out of bed. And on those days when Martin Luther King wasn't feeling motivated or wasn't feeling up to the challenge. I like to imagine what he would do in that situation. Oh man, what's the point? I'm never going to be able to change the world. It's too hard and there are too many forces against me. I've tried everything in my power to make my dreams come true. And it seems like no matter what I do, I'm constantly failing. How many of you out there have felt this way or you're feeling this way right now? I know I have, but you see, his reasons for why he was doing something were so strong that after this little pity party was over, I like to think that there was a moment where he knew exactly what he needed to do. All right, snap out of it. You know what you need to do. Go get your notebook and read out loud why you started all this in the first place. Read it over many, many times out loud until you feel it in every inch of your body, until it's made its way into your bones. And then once you can feel and experience what it was like when you first started this whole thing, get back to work. And this is what I would love to imagine that he would do when he was ready to give up. When nothing else was working, he didn't know what else to do. He sat down, he opened his notebook, and he went back to why he started all this in the first place. And when he was ready to give up because he couldn't take one more hit to the head or have to hear one more hateful sentence make its way into his ears, I like to think that if he was able to do this, then you and I can make anything a possibility, any dream we have. Because if Martin Luther King, who had the most profoundly and ridiculously challenging dream in the world, if he was able to do it, then so can you and I. And he did it. He made his dream a reality. You know what else I think he did? I think he sat there with his eyes closed and he imagined the world as he dreamed it to be. And he went out into the world every day and pretended that that world already exists and he forced the world around him to bend and become what he wanted it to be. And he imagined seeing all the faces of little black boys and little black girls smiling because they were going to grow up in a world that was a better, safer place than the world he grew up in. And with his mission that was so much bigger than him, he knew he couldn't stop till his imagined vision came to fruition. And thankfully, because of him, the world was gonna be a much, much, much better place. 
Today, tomorrow, or next week, when you're feeling unmotivated or uninspired from the weight of a dream so big that it feels like it's crushing your mind, body, soul, and spirit, just remember there isn't an obstacle or a challenge in the universe that can compete when you have a reason, a mission, and purpose so deep that it can't possibly be destroyed, overlooked, or even slightly diminished. And when you listen to this voice and this feeling inside of you that's running on a continuous loop, always there so loud and so strong that it makes you think maybe you are losing your mind, just realize it's a sign that you must listen to and acknowledge like a guardian angel that has floated down and taken over, not stopping until you let this dream come to life. For there is a king and queen in every single one of you just waiting to create an empire filled with your most human needs, wants, and desires. But true royalty and riches come from the space within us that is ready to set the world on fire, that is conceived and conspired, transcending space and time, traveling at the speed of light like the stars in the sky, no different from you and I and our ability for illumination containing a mystical wisdom inside this fiery ball of light. That to find our way, we must make a connection. And once we do find a reason and a mission to do something bigger and more expansive than the body we were given. And while we find our way, while floating through space, to be a wonderful and meaningful contribution. Well, that's all the time we have today. Thank you so much for stopping by here inside Henri's Coffee Bean. I hope you enjoyed your delicious and one-of-a-kind motivational macchiato. Please share, like, and subscribe, and check out all our other videos whenever you are looking to be motivated or inspired, looking for something to boost your creativity, or you just want to feel like somebody is listening. And remember, here inside Henri's Coffee Bean, we believe and know that empathy, equality, and inclusion will be the only way to move us forward in our human evolution and come together and help one another and realize that we're actually all sisters and brothers. And the space between you and me is actually an invisible field of energy connecting everyone and everything you see. Peace and love. Till next time.